in 2022, Laura was renovating her dream house, which is behind me. And she got to the stage where she wanted to choose her colors. So I came down with all of my samples and we did a full house consultation to really find out her style and what colors she connected to. So this week, you're gonna see the consultation and then tune into next week where we show you her finished home. So after going round with Laura and understanding how she's going to use her home, what sort of tones she's most drawn to, what sort of mood that she wants in those spaces, I'm just pulling out colours that I know will all work and that she'll love and it's just about finding which one she's most drawn to. The other thing that I'm definitely going to do is show her some brilliant whites against our off-whites just so that you can then really understand like, okay, that white has a yellow undertone or a pink undertone and offsetting it against the brilliant white, it just brings out the tone in the off-white. You can see with this example, that's a grige and that's our lightest green. I know she'll like that one, but I want to show her this so that she naturally is like, nope, that's not the one and she has confidence this one is the right one. <laughs> okay, honey, so we have just gone round and got a really good feel for the house, mm -hmm. how you're using it. Now I'm going to show you colours. Mm -hmm. All of these which I show you are going to work, okay? So it's purely down to the one that you're most drawn to. This is then the hallway. We are wanting to do dark panelling yep. on the bottom. Yep. Um, and then above it, we're going for a soft neutral, wrapping everything in it. Walls, yep. ceiling, all the way upstairs, carrying on the flow. Yep. And then this off colour is also going to go off white, is going to go into the kitchen, yep. carrying on that flow. Mm -hmm. So the options that we've got... Carl, He's been here from the very right. beginning. Carl, it's all, Carl is amazing. Yes. He's the site form right. these days. <laughs> right, okay. So we've got brilliant white, no. which we're just all brilliant ruling out. Instantly, I'm drawn to this one. Instantly, Chelsea. It makes my soul so happy. Oh, this is so perfect. That's, so this white of five. What I'm going to do. Now, what I want to show you is against the blacks for the stairs and the panelling. This is a bit harder, actually. I, I, that's that that's what I, yeah, that's kind of what I thought, but I'm not sure if that's too harsh. Okay, or? That feels a bit more bluey, though. It is bluey. I would lean towards this one. Yeah. What I've just showed you is was black 01 with the yeah. blue undertone. This is black 02 yeah. going here yeah. and above it. Yeah. Black 02 has a red undertone to it, so it brings warmth. Right will match the doors perfectly. Yeah, then that one. Rich, velvety, luxurious, and that would look amazing. What I really love about this is this white swallows up shadow. All of this darkness, it's just going to warm yeah. everything up. And I cannot tell you how nice it will be on the cabinets. Brilliant. And so with the uh, work surface, the Calicutta Hermitage. With the gold. Yeah. Yeah. This, because it's got yellow and grey in it, yeah. the yellow obviously pairs with the gold. Yeah. So all of your warm fixtures, you want a warm undertone yeah. in the white. What I want to show you is one that I would not recommend putting in here. Well, that now, looks too grey anyway. Exactly. So if it had that, this would feel so cold, cold and dark. And just because your room is northeast, mm -hmm. this is going to bring in that warm sunshine yeah. to the space. Yeah and then your eye will just go straight out to the garden. This is, this is probably one of the most exciting things I've ever done, actually, because even though I've developed quite a number of houses over the years, I've never been brave enough with colour, and I've never, ever thought about painting the ceilings the same colour as the walls, but it makes complete sense now that it all flows and wraps the room round as, as one, and I just, I just want to start now. <laughs> When's it coming? When's the paint coming? <laughs> Fireplace is going to be the focal point of the room because you're going off-white mm. in there. I think this, so this one's Topo 3 Rock House, so has Rock House. Are you thinking too pink? Mm. Yes, interesting. So... I, I already saw when you put the colours out, I was like, I think the green one works. Right, so this one is Soho House Warehouse. So yeah. this is your palette so far. Perfect. And look how that all yeah, yeah, yeah. goes really well together. Yeah. So that one is going everywhere. The thing which I love about the samples and which you can do, here obviously is in the shadow. Mm -hmm. You can then move it round to see yeah. what it looks like in the light. In the light. 
But literally, you just peel and stick them off, and then we'll stick them onto the wall. Yeah. And then we know that one's for here. Yeah. Really smart. Upstairs, everything I'm showing you is from the same palette, okay. and so we'll have that lovely flow to it. I I love a feature wall. <laughs> I do like to have sort of featured walls in, in properties. What we're going to do is find the right tone. I actually want to be quite bold. I don't want to be too scared about going dark. Because it is smaller, go bolder. Okay. Like, give it some more personality. So, when I'm looking at your wallpaper, what we want to do is pull out tones from that that are going to complement it and pair with that design, and that we're going to wrap the rest of the room in it. I want to show you straight away that does not work. Neither does the top one. The top one's too light. Then you basically have these two the, up. The one at the bottom. So honestly, everything you're naturally going for is literally the perfect one to go okay, for. Good. So, so, blue A6, yes. we've got the feature wall wallpaper and then sealing and everything in the mat so that everything blends in. Okay. We don't want, we want this to be the feature, yeah. that to just... Like, and the skirting wall mat as well. Now for the bathroom, we, Laura and I have chosen the white 04 and this has got a grey undertone which pairs beautifully with her floor to pick out the grain tones in there. And because this room is south facing, you can basically go for a richer toned white that doesn't need warming up. So we don't need a yellow undertone in here, you want a grey undertone. And then what I love about this is the common thread in Laura's palette is that every colour we've chosen has a grey undertone to it, so it has a duskiness to it. So even the white 05, we've got grey in there. So this sits perfectly with her whole palette and the blues and the grige. Um, and this will just pair beautifully with the tiles and the floor tiles in here. Because she's gone to the effort and putting the money to have these beautiful tiles, they deserve something to complement them. So going for a textured white just gives this room a bit more confidence, gives it a bit more character, and also it links the two rooms together. So the dark blue um, guest bedroom, then coming through to the lighter bathroom, Tying in the tiles being the feature, voila. Now, okay, white 05, mm -hmm. carrying that on yeah. all the way up. Gym to the left, yeah. and then we've got your sun bedroom here. Yes. We're thinking feature wall. So this is, this, yeah, I mean, again, this is really bold for me. Oh yeah, I love it. Done. That's really bold for me to do a wallpaper like that, but I just think it's it can cool. take it. It, it will, can yeah, definitely yeah, take yeah, it. I love it. And if ever you want to just paint the ceiling, yeah. that's a really easy thing to do. That will go, I mean, it's quite a low. Yeah, I mean, look. amazing. With the colours and look, everything. And the gold inside and yeah! Yeah, 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 this is so good. So this room in here is going to be the same colour as, as this, the, the white 05. Yeah, white 05. Do that white 05, which will look lovely, by and the way. And ceiling. Yeah, oh, I right. would. I would, just because it's white. Yeah. So because you could done white walls, do white ceilings. And then... OK, so you've got your wallpaper. Let me pull you your options. Ooh, the third one. That one. So these both will feel light. They're very, very light greys. Now, this one here is a warm grey, which suits the direction of your room that faces. This white... Oh, actually, I quite like that one. This one? Yeah. yeah. this really, this looks lovely. I like that one. This is lovely, and yeah. it's got, why I like it, it's got a linen texture to it. This is grey or two, and that would pair beautifully, but it is darker. This is white 04, but it's lighter, and it means you can leave your ceiling white, but I would paint your ceiling in the same okay. colour. Now, last one. Your daughter's bedroom. The light straight away when we walk yeah. in is totally different. This is warm, this is light, south facing. And this is the wallpaper in here that I've chosen for along this back wall. I really would like to do a dusty pink, something that works in here. Any? of those. I think it has to be this one. So you've got um, Topo 3, um, which is the Soho House rock colour. Um, that is then going to go on the other wall. I've got a bed in here Ooh, yeah. that I would like to, a wooden bed actually, that I would like to paint. Do I do the bed the same colour as the walls? So it 
I would do a tonal scheme in here then. So you've got um, Topo 3, um, which is the Soho House rock colour. Um, that is then going to go on the other walls, yeah. which is beautiful. And then the bed. Yeah and all of that, and that one's taupe O2. And they sit perfectly, they're dusky, they got the pink. And then I'm upcycling a bed. And then you're upcycling a bed, which is perfect. Oh, I love it so much. She's gonna I love actually. it. And like you said, they're actually not pinks, they're taupes with a pink undertone. Yeah. So they're dusky, they're earthy, they're timeless, they're not girly girly. It's perfect. I'm gonna give you a hug, but I'm gonna paint when it's dry. <laughs>